So Fortress began, depending upon who you talk to, about 2010. Um, at that time, Sumitomo recognized that the food and beverage industry was one of those recession-proof industries um, that was ideally fit for the products that we manufactured, but the products that we manufactured wasn't suitable for those types of environments. You know, we, we really wanted to get it right. We started looking at our product that was most commonly used in the food and beverage industry, which was the hyponic, and we started looking at what is the sweet spot that the market is asking for from power demand. Um, we also wanted to make sure that we took the time to go out and talk to the customers about what was already out in the market, what they liked about it, and what they didn't like, and how we can try to incorporate some of those features or, or desired features in our product. Um, and with that, it just took time in the development process. We want to minimize any opportunity for bacteria to build up on our gearbox. The other side of it, along with the geometry of the housing itself, is the overall smoothness of the housing. So there's not a lot of cavities and pockets and things of that nature for material to build up or to make it very difficult to wash down, which again makes it much more user friendly and, and keeps the guys like USDA and FDA and all the different inspectors that come into the plant kind of at bay, so to speak, with, without having concern about the, the reliability of, of the gearbox itself.